Huang Tai Ming. I'm from the Bison Mango Orchard. All right, let's now take a brief look at the Mango Orchard. So right now we are at the Mango Orchard. Can you give us a brief introduction about what are the different types of、uh, mango? Mango is a tropical fruit. Currently, we have more than one thousand and one hundred different mango types all across the world. In China, we have three hundred types, and but only more than one hundred types of mango are currently planted. In this orchard, we have ten different types of mangoes. All right. Now we see a lot of mangoes. So, what is the production pr production this year? Well, this year we truly have a great harvest. No matter what mango type we are talking about. Can you tell us what is this type? Well, this is the even mango. We have seen it on the market. Yes, it is sold on the market. So, do the mangoes need to be packed in a bag? Well, well, this gives you three effects. Number one, it can guard you against those pesticides, and we started to back them up in May, so we don't need to use any pesticide in June and July. And number two, it can. Protect the mango from scratches when it's winds, when the winds blow, and also it can guarantee that you have perfect skin of the mango. Let's、uh, just unwrap one and take a look. So this is the one with the bag, and you can see that its color and its skin is quite different. So th these are the three different effects. All right, Mr. Huan just told us that、uh, there are three. Effects of these bags. Number one, it can guard against those insects. Number two, it can guard against different scratches. And number three, it can secure a very popular and well-preserved skin and skin color. If we don't use the bag, what would the, what would the color be? It would have a darker skin, and the color wouldn't be that saturated on the skin. Well, here we have a small mango here. What is that? Well, this one is not using a bag. So this is the color of the mango without the bags, and one is big and one is small, and the big one is the normal size. For this small one, we call it the gung mango. It will never grow bigger because it has not been nurtured well when it was small. So it was a failure, and we call this a development failure. And、uh, it cannot breed a next generation. And、uh, the big one, well, this is the normal one, and we can use its seeds. To breed new trees of mango. So, let's have a quick recap. So, this is the one with the bag, and you can see it's normal size, and it also has very normal skin color. But look at the smaller one beside. It's not using a bag, and it's a failure of nurture, and、uh, it cannot breed the next generation of mango. So the contrast, the comparison is very、uh, contrast. So we have a very clear day today, and you can see that、uh, the temperature today has reached 29 degrees, and we are already sweating. Now let's take a look at this part. The farmers are picking the mango, so they are using a scissor. 
Yes, it's a, it's a Caesar. For each mango tree, it has a product a productivity of uh, maybe 800 or 400 kilos, and it can braid fruits for the for five or six years. Normally, a small tree can give you 25 to 50 kilos, and if it is a big grown-up tree, it can give you 300 kilos per year. And uh, we have to perfectly manage the density of the trees and also the cultivation of different types of trees. And now what is popular is to grow the trees with uh, with certain distance among each other. So this is very convenient for watering and for nutrition absorption. Now let's have a quick interview with one of those farmers. When did you come this morning? Eight o'clock. How many kilos can you pick every day? 500 kilos. Are you local here? I'm from uh, Dashishan originally. Have you grown mango before in your hometown? No. I only learned the mango knowledge here. How many money are you making every day? 130 yuan every day. All right, you can go back to work. Thank you. So, when we pick, so when we pick the mango, we have to unwrap the bag and then uh, transport it to different parts of China. So let's take a look at this one. So this is the normal size, right? So you can see that it's fully grown, and you can see the color is very saturated on its skin, and you cannot find even one, I would say, freckle on the skin, and it's very smooth. So does this mean that when we are buying mango from the market, we have to look at those ones with perfect color, with no dots on the skin? Yes, exactly. It's very smooth, and it tells you that it has never suffered the uh, suffer from any of the uh, insects. So, as some of the mango trees, for example, what is this mango? This is the deer mango. So, on this deer mango, we see different types of mangoes. Are you using the technologies of uh, transplanting? Yes, of course, we can transplant many different types of uh, mangoes on one single tree. Uh, sometimes it can be two to three different types. But this is mainly due to market demand, and we look at the market situation when one of the types <coughs> is having a very sluggish sale, then we're going to change the distribution. We're going to change the deployment of the different mango types that we grow. Because on the market, there are many different types of mango types that are popular for this time and then for the remaining time of the year. So we just adjust our mango planning accordingly. And uh, in China, I think we have roughly 5 million mu of uh, orchard for mango. Each and every year we have a production of uh, 4 million tons. But we only account for maybe five percent of the all uh, of all the mangoes produced worldwide. And uh, if you look globally, each and every year there is a total production of uh, maybe 20 million tons. But in China, it's grown only in Guangxi, Guangzhou, Fujian, and Guizhou provinces. Just now, Mr. Huang introduced to us so much knowledge about mango, but I still have one question. 
So you have so many different types, but how long does it take for a mango to grow into normal size, from the budding and blossom and to the peak? Well, it depends. Uh, it depends on what mango type you're talking about. It can be between 90 to、uh, 150 days.、Uh, for those、uh, early、uh, mature mangoes, it only take maybe 90 days. Well, what about those yellow colored fist size mangoes? It's actually a Thailand mango, and it's very popular. So those are the early mature mangoes, and you can find them on the market in. June, and if you are in Hainan Province, it can even be May or April, because Hainan is a tropical province, and it's very easy for them to deliver early mangoes. So today is July the 10th, and what kind of mango should we eat? I think you can select Guifei, Guiti, and the Golden Mango. There are a lot of options available for you at this time of the year, and they are. Mature.、Uh, that is why. That is also why we selected the mango festival on this day. Exactly. Now let's take a look at how they pick the mango. They would.、Uh, they first remove the bag, and they will take a look at whether whether the mango has reached. The、uh, standard for a pickup. Well, this is a sense of responsibility for our customers. Look at this one. This one is perfect. It has three mangoes and one branch, and、uh, I think this is Grade One products, right? Yes. So this one is slightly worse than. The, uh, these three ones. So they have those、uh, freckles or dots on the skin. So what should we do about it? So we're gonna、uh, categorize them into different levels and grades, and、uh, grade one, grade two, and grade three. If you are in a lower grade, you won't be selling a good price. So. Mango is a tropical fruit, and Guang Guangxi is also a tropic,、uh, tropical province, and it's very ideal for us to grow this. But we are also known for pineapples, for bananas. But these are tropical fruits. Mango is most ideal in three、uh, places. The first is the west of Hainan Province, and then is the Baisi in Guangxi, and also Xishuangbanna in Yunnan Province. These are the most three most ideal places for mango. So another question. So how long does it take for a mango tree to grow up from the very Early days of、uh, planting to the final days of、uh, feeding, it will last 50 years. So it can grow as long as the human、uh, lives. So how old the tree must be when it's able to deliver mango trees? At the third year. So how old is this tree? Well, this one, I think it's, I think it has existed for eight years. So look,、uh, it's a small, it's a young mango tree, but it's giving us a very nice-looking mango. So this is a different one, right? This is the immature mango, and it's,、uh, it's a failure. So we see a lot of bags on a tree. So we see a lot of grass in the orchard. So this is truly a year of harvest. So we have. Uh, this card. Uh, this is a 
A care card. Uh, Mr. Huang, can give us an introduction about this card? It's a adoption card, and uh, so we have this online and offline program, and uh, we have, uh, for example, a lot of customers online, and uh, they can subscribe a mango tree. So, which means that all the mangoes on this tree will belong to that customer who subscribed to this tree. Well, this depends on different types of mangoes and the uh, and the price of the different mangoes. And for example, uh, if you subscribe this tree, this means that all the mangoes on this tree will be given to you, and also part of the sales revenue will be dedicated to the charitable fund of Baisa. So you are also donating money to uh, charitable courses. It's very good. I may consider the same thing in the future. So I just need to subscribe for one year. Yes, it's just one year of duration. And you can also come here and you can uh, plow the ground and you can water the tree and uh, when the when a mango tree is uh, growing up, when the mangoes uh, mature, you can also bring your family here to pick off the mangoes. Well, this means that I just need to pay 500 so that I can have the whole tree. Exactly. So this one is subscribed by Huang Zexi on June the second, and uh, the model of this card is that he hopes that he could be admitted by university. Yes, exactly. Uh, they subscribed to this tree on June, and they subscribed this tree, and they hope that uh, this tree can bring them very good luck for the upcoming college entrance examination. Perfect. So, here. We have some instruments here. And what are these tools? Can you give us some explanation? Well, this is a spray, a water spray, because the Yaojiang River Valley during March and April, we are kind of uh, having a drought to facilitate the uh, fertilization of the mango trees. Too. So we have to spray water in the orchard to help facilitate the fertilization of the mango trees so that we can secure a year of harvest. Uh, it is also a type of uh, irrigation. And the irrigation facilities in this orchard is very ideal, and we are using the drip irrigation technology, and we have pipes beneath the ground to water the trees. We have pipes on the grassland to uh, bring fertilizers and also water to different trees. So, according to Mr. Huang, these tools are there to spray water in the drought seasons in March and April so that we can provide sufficient water and uh, nutrition to those uh, mango trees. All right, we have covered the spray. Let me say hi again to our viewers. I'm currently in Baise of Guangzhou province. I'm reporting the first mango festival in Baise. And uh, we have just shown you what are the different types of mango, how the mango is cultivated, and how we pick mangoes off the tree. You may know that for anything to develop, you cannot go without a financial support. In 2015, Baisa was designated as a national demonstration center for poverty elevation through financial policy. China's national 
Uh, China's Agriculture Bank is giving special financial support to Baisa, uh, and uh, so today we have invited Mr. Luo Jun, who is the Deputy Governor of China Agriculture Development Bank. Good morning. So you are all very impressed by this golden-colored mango. Actually, after Baisa was designated as a demonstration center, we have significantly boosted our poverty alleviation efforts, and uh, we have allocated a total of 15.5 billion RMB to support this area. And uh, so far, 8.7 billion RMB has been put into use. So we are making perfect deployments and uh, allocations of our resources. And uh, we also allocated some of the poverty-stricken area population. And we are encouraging the industry of mangoes so to help the locals to elevate from poverty. And uh, we are offering 500 dif uh, different jobs here. and. Uh, uh, in Bounce Baisa alone, we have uh, 68,000 regi registered uh, who are living around the uh, poverty line. And uh, these people, they are entitled to the financial support of the national government. Have you grown mango before? Yes, we grew mango from, uh, from when I was a young age. So we have... Uh, financial support to those mango farmers. So the Chinese government is very supportive to this industry, and uh, we have in place a registration system to help the locals to be able to get rid of poverty through the plantation of uh, mango. And this mango, despite how small it is, it's embedding the hope of the whole family to get rid of poverty. So you said it very well, and the mango is also a fruit for poverty elevation, and it's helping a lot of families to get rid of poverty. So now you see that these mangoes, they are being uh, loaded on a truck, and they are going to be transported to different parts of the country, and they are going to be delivered to many different markets so that uh, customers all across the country, they can have a taste of the delicious mango from Baisa. You said it very well. Thank you very much. And uh, we say this truck is carrying maybe 200 packages, and it will be delivered to different places. So I'm from Beijing. How many days do I have to wait till the mango comes here? Well, normally it's three days. If it is through uh, airplane, you can expect the mango to arrive within two days. It's super fast. Right now we see the logistic truck is uh, ready to go and uh, it's uh, delivering a lot of mango to different parts of China, and it's conveying the good wishes of Baisa to people all across the country. So we know we have just paid a visit to the orchard, and we saw how it is packaged, how it is using a bag, and mango is different from other fruits, and uh, it's packaging must also be different from other fruits. So now you see this is the package area. So this is the package area. We see a lot of mangoes. Uh, it's just been picked from the tree. Perfect. Great. So many mangoes. Perfect. So, this is the great tea mango that is just pushed to the market. Yes, it's uh, green colored. Can we eat it now? Yes, it's, uh, it's actually mature already. And it's green colored because of its uh, particular type. And some of the mangoes they're having 
red colors, and uh, we have uh, yellow color, red color, and also green color. And Guiqi and uh, Jinpi mango from Thailand, the uh, green colored. Let's take a look at uh, these workers. They are using some special tools. They have to first cut the bud at the end, and then they are using a. Mango. From the ground, and uh, we select the best ones out, and then we to remove those who are not which are not qualified. For example, this one is having a normal size, and it's about 0.3 kilos, and this is the grade one mango, and we're going to select these mangoes and to put it in a box. And now let's come here to this area. So you see that so they are packaging them. These are well selected mangoes. So can we maybe? Sorry, can you wait a couple of minutes? Okay. So to package those mangoes, do we have to put them in a in an upside down manner? Yes, we have to put the. Well, uh, this is for the best protection of the mango, as they have to be put in the uh, package in a required position. And uh, we also use this uh, this uh, net plastic to avoid the scratches to the skins, because these mangoes they were picked off from the mango tree using a scissor, so there is the. Uh, cutting insects and from the branches. So to package, so to package the uh, mango in the in a in a big box, you have to make sure that uh, this part stays down, stays beneath. If this bud is uh, put up, then it must be wrong, and it, you have to make sure that this side goes. To the bottom, and uh, so if we are selecting mangoes from the market, what are the best standard? How can we select the best mangoes? You have to make sure that the size is normal, and also you check if there are some points or dots and freckles on it. And if there are some freckles, it means that uh, it has insects. It has insects in it, just, just maybe. And if it's very smooth and it's very normal size and it's a great one mango. And uh, we are also going to weigh every mango. So how is how how much does each box weigh? And it's five kilos. Well, that is to say that each and every mango is about 0.3 kilos. Exactly. We have to make sure that uh, they meet the weight standard. All right. Let's take a look at this one. Well, this is 10.3 kilos. It's very standard weight. And now let's take a look at this area. We are going to label these mangoes. And also we need to put a piece of paper on top of that. Because we deliver raw mangoes. And if it is truly mature, we don't actually deliver them because they would be uh, squeezing each other and scratch each other. So this is still very raw, but uh, when it is delivered in the next three and four days, it will be perfect. 
for customers, which means that when the mangoes are 70 percent raw, we have to pick them, and then we have to package them, deliver them, and for another three or four days, it will arrive at the markets and it will be ready to eat. Can I ask you how many boxes do you package every day? Every day we have uh, roughly uh, two tons of mangoes packaged. So now at this area, you see they are labeling them and they are uh, putting them in a box and they are putting a uh, paper on it and they are ready to deliver. To deliver. Thank you very much. And according to Mr. Huang, when we select mangoes on the market, we have to go for those with very smooth color, smooth skins, like this one. It's very smooth. And the best is that it has no uh, marks or no uh, freckles on the skin. Look at this one. This is the Tano mango. This is the Great Wen mango. And uh, in Beijing, you can expect this mango in four days. Perfect. So here we have a exhibition stand. Can you give us an explanation? What are the different types of mangoes in China? A present in China, on the market, we have roughly th 30 different types, and we have covered them all in Baisa. For example, this is the red one. This is very beautiful. And you can always identify, find them on the market, and uh, they are very long, and they are a little bit oval-like, and it's very beautiful. It's a very beautiful shape, and you can always find it on the market. And uh, what about this one? This is like small pepper. Yes. But it does not have a large production, and uh, it's not quite common on the market. And this is what we call the griffin mango. And you can easily find those on the market. And it's red here, but at this part, it's a little bit yellow, and it's very beautiful. And it's very high quality, and and it's very tasty, and it contains a lot of water. Well, this is also quite commonly seen on the market. It's just a, just a name. It's a, what is the story behind the name? Well, actually not. So this this one is very big. Well, this is what we call the Jitin mango. And this is the largest in size. And for each one, it will weigh two kilos. And for even bigger one, for the biggest ones, it may even weigh four kilos. Well, let's hold it in my hand. Wow, this is, this is, this one is two kilos and it's called Jinxing mango or golden star mango. I have never seen a mango this big. So this is my first time to see such a big mango. It's very beautiful. It's amazing. It's it's like a small watermelon and if you cut it open you can serve a whole family. Yes. But well, this one is perfect. I have never seen this before. You see, we have so many different types of mango. This is kite, and this is uh, late mango. So what are the types currently available on the market? So we have many different types, and we have very good quality, uh, quality on the market, and we are very well recognized by the customers. And on this part, you can have a taste of some of the mangoes we produce here in Baisa. See how many mangoes can I name them? 
So this is squid tea mango. Correct. Perfect. And uh, this is Taino mango. Yes. Perfect. So this is the golden store mango. Yes, exactly. And this is the golden yellow mango. So can I have a taste of some of the mangoes? Of course. You can cut it in different ways and taste them in different ways. Let's take a look at those mangoes are sliced. Beautiful. Hello. You're wearing this traditional costume. Exactly. Very beautiful. I'm very happy today. I'm very glad to attend the mango festival. For mango, you can eat it in many different ways. For example, I'm holding a mango in my hand. This is the great tea mango. And you can actually have a taste here. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, you can take this one. Perfect. Well, this one is very beautiful, very delicate. This is the green tea mango, so I can, I can eat, right? Yes. It's very tasty and sweet. Yes. It's very popular on the market, and now you check the skin. It's still green, but uh, you. Peel off the skin and you can eat it. So this one is ninety percent mature, but you can eat it. But uh, for gui qi mango, no matter it is raw or mature, it's having this uh, light green color with its skin. It's uh, fundamentally different from other mangoes, and this is the feature of this particular mango. And when it is mature, it will taste very, very good, and it's、uh, very sweet and very delicious. It's delicious. And and it's also very good. And because if you hold it this way, it won't uh, uh, get your hands sticky. So normally, when we eat mango in our home,、uh, we would、uh, use a knife and to cut it in different、uh, in, into halves.、So、let me give you a demo here. Normally, we would do like this: we cut it open. Well, this is the most common way to eat mango. We cut it open in two halves, and then we're gonna use a spoon, and then we would、uh, simply eat it. You sim we would simply eat it with the spoon. Let me taste this this one. Well, this is the Taino mango. It's very sweet and contains a lot of water. Great. It's very hot today. I'm sweating. Sorry. So now it's around thirty-two degrees. And you give a very good demo, but I can give you another one. Let me show you how do we eat it in a better way. So normally, you can start from the two sides of the mango. So to cut the mango, you can start from its two sides, and then you can slice it from the edges. So that you can peel off its skin, and then you can give it a couple of scratches, and it will make everything a lot more easier. See now, you peel the skins from the two sides, and then you squeeze it, and now it's very beautiful, and also it's、uh, easier to eat, and it's also、uh, very elegant. Yeah, a lot more elegant than. My way of eating, and there is another way of cutting it, which is also very common. Let me use this curved knife. Well, let me take a look at this one. So this one is quite different from the knives we use in our homes, and this is a special too. Yes, in in our area, we all have this.
type of mango. We call it the little curved knife. You have to put it beyond the reach of children because it's very sharp. And uh, so let's see how we do with this. You just cut it open from the very center. This is another an another way of cutting the mango. You cut it open, run it. Now you just need to twist it a little bit, and then you have two halves, and you can use the spoon. Do you want to taste it? Taste it. Great. So this can also. Uh, keep your hands clean, and it's also very good for the children. Uh, this way, they don't dirty your dirty their clothes. It's very convenient for the children. All right, our gracious lady from Zhang ethnic group introduced us three different ways of cutting mango. The first way is to cut it from two edges, and then you peel it off from the edges with a knife, and then you scratch it and cut it in different lines and directions, and uh, then you can have a smaller sliced mangoes. Good. So, just now we have received. A message from our viewers asking, "Can we eat it? Can we also eat the skin?" Of course. Let me give you a demo, and you can eat it with the skin. For for example, for this mango, you can actually eat it with the skin, and you can taste it. It's very, it's very good for your stomach, and it's also very delicious and.、Uh, Normally, we're gonna select the、uh, red Xiangya mango, which is very delicious. And、uh, you can take a look at this one. This is just sliced, and we give a demo to the customer, and we put it in the sugar water. And now let's have a taste.、Let's, let me take. Let me taste this on behalf of, of all the viewers. So, how do you feel? Yes, it's very appetizing and it's very delicious. This is my first time eating mango skin. It's very fragrant and very appetizing. Thank you. So we have introduced to you many different types of mangoes and、uh, different ways of、uh, eating it and different ways of、uh, cutting it. So, in addition to taste it as a fruit, you can also dry the mango and、uh, transform it into different snacks. And it can be stored for a very long time. And also here we have some bread using mango. We have some dessert here, decorated by mango. We also have a mango wine. So I see they are all drinking this. How how does this taste? It's a little bit sour and、uh, sweet. Have you、uh, had any mango wine before? No, never. And this is my first time at this festival, and I'm also subscribing a mango tree, and it's the Guiji mango. So I can bring my friends next year and have a good harvest. I see everybody is so happy. Everybody is so much enjoying this festival, and let's、uh, give you. A detailed look of these mangoes. So they are carefully presented and the、uh, delicately sliced. Very beautiful. So we have another question from online. How do we store mangoes?、Uh, what kind of people are the best for mangoes? Mango is for everyone. It's not. 
tailored for any specific groups of people unless you're having diabetes if you're having diabetes you might take a more precautious uh, attitude uh, otherwise you just eat it it's for everyone is it good is it easy to store should we store it when it is raw or should we put it in a freezer when it is mature it depends on its maturity when it is fully mature you can put it in a refrigerator to just uh, keep it fresh but that is only for mature uh, mangoes if it is still raw then please do not put it in a freezer and uh, because the mango the they get mature only after a couple of days uh, in aftermath of uh, delivery so it's actually very easy to store you can put it in your home for three or four days no problem all right we now we got to know how to eat it how to cut it and how to eat it in a very innovative way so in addition to fruits and wines it can actually be you be made into several different types of dishes and it contains uh, vitamin C it can uh, reduce your cholesterol and also it's a very it's very good to eat it to beautify yourself and that's why it's very popular among the girls let's have another look of these different types of mangoes so because mango they contain a lot of sugar so it's not recommended for people suffering diabetes because this is a tropical fruit it's it contains a lot of sugar and it's very fresh so in addition to the mango uh, that can be uh, eaten as uh, fruits and you can also use the mango skin as a you can also uh, use the mango skin as uh, fodder for animals and you can also use the mango skin to uh, formulate uh, compact, compact materials so it's uh, valuable from inside out so we have introduced to you so many different types of mangoes you got to know so much knowledge about mango with respect to how you pick them off the trees how you cut it open how you eat it how you store it and how we deliver them to different parts of china so mangoes they were originally from india but currently across the world we have 2000 different types of mango but in china we only have 60 different types of mango they are mainly grown in hainan panzhuhua in guangdong guangxi provinces and yunnan provinces and baisi in guangzhou is one of the largest producers in china for mango so Again, we are now in Baisi of Guangxi province. We are at the first mango festival. We're having this live coverage for all of you. And uh, we have been on this program for roughly one hour. And we have to thank our photographer, Mr. Zhang Jun. And you show your face to everyone. Uh, sorry, Mr. Zhang is very shy. And uh, thank you for shooting um, this program. And uh, I have to also thank Mr. Huang, our engineer, and also Mr. Peng from the bank. Shall we stand here? And we also have to 
thank Mr. Luo Jun, who is the deputy governor of the China Agriculture Development Bank in Guangxi Branch. Can you greet our viewers? Hi, good morning. All right, we are about to come to the end. So this is the first mango festival in Guangxi. Thank you very much. Thank you for following our program. Thank you very much.